the madman. The goddess calls. We have Mr. Creeper, but embracing the darkness is pretty good. Casual six mana mind control. Priests tend not to have a bunch of tempo, but Weld is more about tempo, so having the minions out is more likely. I'm gonna go boisterous over streetwise, I guess. And then silence wasn't a bad option either. Gotta get that two drop in Wild Arena. Meh. Hey, Ogre Brute's back. 3 mana, 4-4. Four, four. Pretty good. Keep you sleep. Hey, Excavated Evil is back. They say we catch up. So far, none of them are good to copy. I also have no 4 drop so far. I also don't have a game plan where I plan to have a board. But that's no, also bad for Bouncer. Summon 1-1 one, one copies of two friendly Death Rattle minions that died this game. Zero. Seems like a bad number to have. Dark Cultist. Or Shadow Word Pain. A very different scoring from White Forge, who wants the Shadow Word Pain, and Hearth Arena, who wants the Dark Cultist. I'm going Dark Cultist, though. Need to pick up some two drops soonish. Wax Elemental? Nah. Psionic Probe. Or four drop. Four drop. Shadow of Pain again, cool. Dustbreaker, I have one dragon? Two dragons. Midnight Drake and Sleepy Dragon. Insane if it goes off. Or I mean a 3 3 if not. I'll go for it. Dragon. And the best pick. Free from Amber or Excavated Evil. So, with zero proactive two drops so far, we need catch up mechanisms. Probably excavated. I also don't have that many big stuff though. But we definitely need catch up mechanisms. Oof, Hazard Drake. Haven't seen you in a very long time, buddy. 3 mana, 3 4. Worse than Dark Cultist, but. Ooh, legendary. A 2 drop is really bad. Is a 2 mana, 2 2. That one drop is meh. Hey, Northshire. Mm, shadow box, 2 mana, 2, 3. Or do I just ignore the entire 2 drop thing? It's one of those cases where, gee, if you have absolutely no 2 drops, maybe you should just go full no 2 drops. Now, the first 2 drop in the deck should probably be good, because it'll be like the one card I'm trying to mulligan for or something. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cards that are 5 plus so far. Yeah, let's bring the curve down. Ooh, Lone Champion should be really good in this deck. Ocean of Madness. Rezo. The good old North Sea Kraken is back for the big endgame bomb. Draconid Operative! Oh man, that's the card that ties it all together. Alright, so Midnight Drake, Duskbreaker, Azure Drake, Volcanic Drake, Sleepy Dragon, and now Draconid Operative. Sick, man. Tempting, but nah. Alright, Lone Champion. I can somehow copy a 1 1 Taunt Divine Shield, that's pretty good. Seems unlikely though. Hmm, copying Valdir Raider could be interesting. Be an Argent Protector Lone Champion. Ye old mechanical Yeti. Spare parts for all. Reversing switch. I'm pretty sure we're just going for strength here. Something like this. Alright, 
he trades this with the new dagger, we can throw some sludge. It's pretty good. enough late game in my hands, I don't need to save the cleric for the healing. I've been reversing so I should deal 5 to that, but... Oh, maybe good. No, I really want to play Valdir this turn. Raiding. Ah, if only I could enjoy the good old days of World of Warcraft vanilla raiding when I was first starting out. But you only get one time at that. Raiding is a lot of fun. But raiding the same thing over and over again, not so fun. Do some reversing switch shadowward pain shenanigans, maybe. I can use a pain on a 2 1. Although, maybe if I had played the pain, I would have won. Maybe. I was so close that maybe playing the pain was right there. What if I lose somehow? That'd be pretty sick. So the reason why I don't, I'm not really interested in classic WoW. It's because the nostalgia isn't enough. It's, oh wow, look at this. It's, well, I mean, that is a combo. You can kill off the 412 with the reversing and switch North City Kraken. That's really good. Face means that I have one. Leave yeah, that's fine. I don't think it's a good experience to just do things in old world of WoW. When it comes down to it, Molten Core is actually pretty boring. The raid fights have gotten so much better over time. But it's that first time where you're working with this group in an epic scale where you're like, wow, this is incredible. This is one of those first time experiences I can't be re experienced, I'd say. But someday, maybe when I have dementia, I can raid every single day and feel that every. It doesn't work that way. So the only bad news about playing the cleric is coin 3 2. Or not even coin 3 2, just 3 2 on 2 would be enough. I'm gonna pass. Oh, coin 3 2. Don't forget to tip. The other small thing is that I have a Midnight Drake, which would get plus one less. If I wasn't willing to play Northshire Cleric on turn one, I probably should have mulliganed her. Got the double trade. Ooh, Duskbreaker. Interesting, interesting. I play that, that's a 6-4. 6-4 would just get bear sharked. Play the Duskbreaker? He can be so much better. But it's really good now already.
Ah, got to deal three. I can also deal four to each. So do I want to clear everything? I think this is best. Take the damage to draw one more card. I uh, should be getting something pretty good with Resurrect. Right away. Nah, I mean, 2 mana, 3, 3. It was that or Azure Drake or Dark Cultist. So I got the worst one. Champions time to shine. That thing a hug. An embrace, if you will. Command Har. Still command hero power. Never lucky. No way. There's nothing that can stop me here, right? He's just only he's just hoping I mess up with freezing trap. Ice block. Nope. Oh. I should have kept Fiola there. Oops, I'm gonna coin out the lone champion. That was a bad mulligan decision. However, with this, I might not coin out the champion. Just heal and then champion, since he's... He's not gonna be playing stuff for a while. I could speed it up with Coin Champion into Brute, but we want this game to go long. The longer I go without fighting the Hive Queen, probably the better. That's going to be pretty decent. Champion into Midnight Trick. Wow, he didn't damage his own Hive Queen. Well, that's ambitious. So far he's paid four mana of tax. Turns out games are pretty easy when the opponent's deck costs two more to play. Okay, 
It's actually got some amount of spells here. Who's coin pain? Pretty good. Six six. Worm? Pretty good. I feel like I played against AFK here. The opponent didn't do anything for the first five turns. Bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum. Hey. I drew my Shadow Boxer, the only proactive two drop I can play, but I also drew Lone Champion. So it gets complicated. I probably play the Shadow Boxer on two and expect it to get traded, and I lead it into Lone Champion. I have the dragons, do I have a beast in this deck? Drink with me, friend. Do I use a pain or do I use a shadow boxer? Try to find a better target with pain. If the trade somehow doesn't go through, lone champion matches up well. Could have also gone coin lone champion, but then the follow up isn't very good. Any tips for non-PC fun board gaming can play with friends? I think some really good starters include, but are not limited to. Well, here's just a few ones that I think are really good for getting started. Settlers of Catan, Splendor, Century Spice Road, The Minion, Codenames, and The Resistance. I'll throw that one in there too. With Wild being more relevant in Arena, does that change the ratings of who the best and worst classes are? Yeah, of course it does. I can't claim to have played this enough times to know what is better and what's worse, but there are websites out there that report on this stuff. And I myself simply just try to vary it up each time. If you name any board game that's remotely popular, I have either heard of it or played it. Probably should have killed my little friend. Well, we'll see. Oh, Ticket to Ride is a really good starter, for sure. Oh, fancy. Okay, so I can play Embrace Darkness on an empty board. That's pretty decent. And I have the health to do this. Could have also coined Shadowward Pain, but I want to coin out the Sleepy Drag. Huh. Missed Kalpuzad. Oh crap, created by Mimic Pot. <laughs> Killing the Hive Queen is an interesting line. I'm not going to, though. I was also thinking about hitting Kelthuzad. One damage short, again. 
No, why did you have the like, pod Kelty's on? That's sad. Yeah, he could have also just traded both uh, Hive Queens. It wouldn't have actually done anything, but that would have been pretty close. I needed to heal his Kalthuzad so he wasn't able to kill it and respawn at full HP. Yeah, that's an interesting line. Yeah, my two drop. I saw this awesome video of Shadow Boxer getting lifesteal. And there being two Shadow Boxers on the board. And it dealt the Shadow Boxer dealt uh, the Shadow Boxers dealt something along the lines of 70 damage. Time to use a catch-up mechanism. Got two more excavated evils in my hand. Eventually. Has three health. Hmm. Okay, I can do this coin magician. Lose that on the operative, but okay. first one was the Hoarding Dragon. I got cheated. Hmm, excavated again. Look at all this ketchup. Man, this guy. He's probably not a happy camper.
If he drafted evasion, then whatever. But it was almost thought it was gonna be that one. Instead of healing, I probably should have just played the 9 drop. Whichever, though. Do I keep Shadow Word Pain in my opening hand? Yeah, I mean, something has to deal with the 3 2. And I'm going second. Oh, Dustbreaker. Sweet. I would have a follow up if I coin the cultist. I'd hate to play cultist in the mirror entity. It's a completely random one that he played. Probably not counter a spell. And then if it's vaporize, that's pretty good. I mean, that's okay. Hmm. Something to do with spells? Or is it ice block? Ice block on turn 3 is pretty unlikely. Oh, wow. Pretty ducky. Damn, I have full dragon priest here. I have a lot of catch up, so it's all good. Hey, perfect Shadow Word Pain target. And Dragnet Operative also. Oh crap, what if it's Spellbender? If it's Counterspell, you have to do this first. It's totally gonna be Spellbender. That could be Duplicate. If it's Duplicate, it's a little too slow. I have a Shadow Boxer as my only mech. The next turn is Valdir Raider. Use the utility card. strong board presence to be able to deal with the skilled nightmare. Punch! Punch! Come on! Oh! Okay, <laughs> one more. Nice. Magic detected. Powering up! Portal online! Hmm. 
Meteor. The plans. Blackwing! 